these days, you can't be too safe or too sure. What with all the stalkers, assailants, goons, and plain old maniacs out to make your lives a living hell? That's why Susie and I decided to be oversized Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. I.E. we decided to be prepared. That's right. We met up with Yao Yan Grandmaster Nap to learn some practical self-defense and street fighting techniques. And to prove that Yao Yan is practical with a capital P, Master Nap fought four guys, kicked their butts while blindfolded. Ooh, I'd stick around for this if I were you. Go, go, try it again. Oh, you see, I saw that coming. We're here at the Yao Yan headquarters to get ourselves some serious martial arts training. Yao Yan, that's short for Sayao ng Kamatayan, or Dance of Death. This is a true blue Filipino martial art. Pretty cool, huh? And today we're gonna check it out. I'm Susie. And I'm Paolo. And for today, learning some self-defense is our game plan. <laughs> Ang kwento ng Yawyan ay para sa isang miyembro ng Yawyan, ito ay napakahalaga para sa amin. Dahil dito nakawa, nakasalalay kung paano ka magiging isang tunay na Yawyan. At dito din nakasalalay uh, kung paano ka magiging isang matagumpay na miyembro ng isang Yawyan. Sa panahon ito ng baril at patalim, sa sanlibutay na nalalakay na walang sandata ang kamay kung ang angkin. If Pao and I wanted to learn how to protect ourselves while we're out on the streets, then the Yao Yan headquarters was the spot to go to. I mean, who wouldn't want to be equipped with 45 different kicks and be competent and skilled in the martial art that claims to be the deadliest of all? Yao Yan po, kung, kung pakikinggan po natin, derived from the last syllables, Yao Yan, which means sayaw ng kamatayan. It was uh, originated in the Philippines and it was founded by Mr. Na Fernandez. This is the man to fear. They call him the Grandmaster, undefeated kickboxing champion of the Far East and the rest of Asia. Because of him, we Filipinos have a martial art we can proudly call our own. Master Nap ain't much to look at. A little bit on the small side, just like most of us Filipinos. If he came face to face with a 250 pound guy, he'd be pulverized. Or so you think. We really want to prove that Yao Yan is very effective to the Filipinos, so he chose all the effective techniques and it was converted into different kinds of footwork and hand techniques. Master Nap studied various martial arts, but despite all that training, he never felt confident he could defend himself. So he decided to start his own discipline, something simple and practical, yet something you could most definitely use if a threatening situation arose. <laughs> Unlike other martial arts, Yao Yan is non-resistant. You don't need to exert a lot of force to have the upper hand. Brute strength ain't the name of the game here. Ang Yao Yan kasi ang principle nito, going the force. Non-resistance principle ko eh. Kaya ito yung napili ko dahil malita ko eh. Ito yung bagay sa maliliit. Hindi nga gumagamit na lakas sa lakas. Because Master Nap didn't believe in the use of resistance, blocking techniques used to shield yourself from a blow are totally done away with. According to him, if you attempted to defend yourself this way, you could just wind up getting hurt. You know all those flashy moves you see in the movies? Well, they're not going to save your lives out in the street. It's about time to find out exactly what we're supposed to do. Like, for example, what if you were held at gunpoint? Or if somebody pulled a knife on you? How and I learned that just because your opponent pulls out a weapon doesn't mean the battle's already lost. All you have to do is gather up some guts and, well, disarm him. Of course, you got to learn a bit of Yao Yan first. <laughs> Yeah, like Paula and I could have really learned to do that after one lesson. We were taught the simpler moves, but I've got to say, they were still pretty effective. Here it is, Disarming 101 for the Newbies. Situation number one. Say someone pulled out a knife on you. Push the knife aside, give the guy a little slap to stun him. Twist his wrist and grab the knife. <laughs> Situation number two. If your attacker approaches you from behind, twist your body out of harm's way and grab a hold of his arm. Lean on the knife so the pointed edge faces him, then give the knife a little nudge. Easy that tip. <laughs> Situation number three. Now if your would-be attacker pointed a gun at you, turn your head so it's out of the line of fire. Point his gun towards him and strike with your knee. Situation number four. If your attacker pointed his gun at your side, nudge a gun away with your closest arm as you twist so your back faces him. Elbow him in the stomach and the chin to stun him. You now have the opportunity to take the gun away. 
This next move we didn't really have to learn. It was just fancy schmancy stuff Master Nap said was better suited for Ray Malonzo action movies. Indeed, Yao Yan had no sweat practical solutions to common robbery situations. Master Nap even taught us to disarm our attackers while seated in a jeepney. No matter what position you're in, you can always disarm your would-be attacker. Kahit ka nakaw po, hindi ka natatayo, pwede mo siyang ilak. Hindi ka tulad ng ibang martial art, puporma ka pa para lang magdepensa. Diyos ay kalasag aking gagamitin. Some Yao Yan moves are based on another Filipino martial art, Arnis. But you wouldn't normally be lugging around a big bulky stick, would you? You just have your arms and legs to use. This scrawny arm? A deadly weapon? Ha! <laughs> Sa totoo lang, ang iyaw yan talaga ay kung sabihin ay yung harness din kahit walang baston, pwedeng harness without rotang stick ang iyaw yan, pwede. Pwede kami mag kahit kami ay walang hawak ng baston. Hindi katulad ng ibang uh, mag na kapag wala ng baston, hindi na sila makapag -arnis. In Yao Yan, the striking motion of the arnis stick is copied by your limbs. You can use your arms... <laughs> and your elbows. Also your knees. <laughs> and of course your feet. Binigyan tayo ng may kapal ng kamay, which is gifted. Ito ang ginagamit namin sandata. Although some Yao Yan practitioners are adept in the use of Filipino weapons such as the bolo or balisong, rest assured they don't really need it. Pananampalataya ay siya kong taga-akay, ang kayamanan ko'y dangal kong taglay, ang katotohanan ay siya kong kapalaran. If you want to be able to defend yourself in a real brawl, you've got to be able to do it in practice. Yao Yan is a full contact combat sport, so sparring is essential to their training. A fight is normally over in a blink of an eye. This isn't like in the movies where the bad guy just keeps on getting up. In real life, you only have a few seconds to make your move. What's the Yao Yan strategy? Timing, precision, and speed. In that order. Notice that brute strength didn't make it to the top three. We sat that one out. And we're definitely not gonna do this. Hindi siya basta-basta competitive sport. So, ma-apply mo siya in your everyday life. Of course, yun yung mahalaga eh, para to protect yourself. Kasi nowadays, the, iba na yung ano, eh, environment natin. And who better to learn self-defense from than the Grandmaster himself? Well, that may already be beyond our skill level, but hopefully we'll never be caught in a situation like that. But, Pop, with the moves that I learned today, I think I'll feel a bit more confident on the street. So do I. So from the Yao Yan headquarters, this has been Paolo. And Susie. With the Smart Slick Street Fighters. And that's the game plan!